Hello friends, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. Today we are still in the recording mode. So in the previous tutorial you would have been through the understanding on the, uh, the default recording mode, the analog recording mode, low level recording mode and so on. So finally uh, the, the fourth type of recording or the fourth recording mode in UFT is insight recording mode which is also a new option added in UFT. It was not present earlier in QTP. So let's quickly see that what exactly we have got to understand from the insight recording mode. Uh, generally insight recording mode includes certain options uh, where you know it deals with an application which is flash based and gen when you say the flash based application it generally does not deal with any kind of uh, you know object and does not have specified criteria to be identified in terms of object properties and so on so generally when you look at like you would have played in childhood some flash games and earlier the uh, flash applications used to come up for the invitations as well as the uh, the you know the celebration wishes and so on so generally people used to push across these flash applications as the part of the wishes and people used to uh, just click certain images and uh, you know there was a video which follows after that click so uh, what we are trying to understand here is that these type of applications cannot be generally tested with help of GUI and all you do is something called as dealing with images the collection of images or different videos which is put together as a part of flash application so what we are trying to understand here is how exactly then you have to recognize them so the working principle of inside recording mode it in during inside recording mode it generally captures the snapshot of the uh, you know image or say for example the application or the coordinate or the frame on which you click and it stores it in form of insight objects and these will be updated as a part of your repository as well. Now, during the execution, these inside objects will be uh, compared with one which is present on the application. And then if it matches, the image basically matches, then it will execute the piece of code. Otherwise, it will just reject stating that this particular insight object does not match or does match multiple objects on the screen. So at any point of time, no matter what you are executing, whether it is GUI or yeah, you know the inside recording mode, it, it, it is important for an automation tool to make sure that there are no conflicts between the objects or the images to make sure that it is unique and it is executed. So. Before we get into any further discussion, let's understand in more detail with the hands-on and understand like how exactly the recording happens, what is the script, what is the difference compared to the other scripts, and then let's uh, you know see an execution of inside recording as well. So let's move. So we are here with the uh, you know a new brand new test here to kickstart and understand that how inside recording generally takes place. And for that, I would need an application to demonstrate the same thing. So for this, I'm taking the help of Calculator, which is a flash-based application. And uh, we will see how exactly the flash recording happens here. So all you have to do is click on Recording and uh, just switch to the inside recording mode and uh, start performing the activities what you generally perform. Say for example, I'm doing certain calculations here like two multiplied by six is equal to 12 and maybe a, a bit complex calculation like 89 uh, multiplied by, you know, 45 and say equal to and then just stop recording. So now when you look at the script, you can see the difference uh, between the uh, ordinary general default recording mode script and an analog script and you know a low level script as well as the inside recording. So if you look at the script here right on the screen, it has uh, captured the snapshot of each object what we clicked on. And we are trying to understand the same thing with help of insight. So here it generally go, doesn't go on the property specific, it generally takes a snapshot. So uh, even if you talk about an 
application like YouTube, it is a flash-based application, so everything is image, there is everything is video. So if you have to do a recording on this particular video which is being played, the operation generally what you do is pause and play. So you click on the video, it pauses, you click on the video again, it plays. So if you want, you can try that as well by you know trying to click on the video it will take a snapshot of that particular scene or this uh, you know movie scene which you were playing and then again when the movie scene comes on the screen it will just click on that to play and pause so let's uh, reset the application because it's very important to make sure that the initial and end state of the application are same because as you execute the script it again starts from the beginning so it would need the same state where you started recording at the end of the execution so let's run this and see if it really works for us okay we we faced certain challenges so that's with something like line number 7 that's object 6 all right let's let's try one more time because you never know sometime it does not detect a particular thing so let's try again so give him the calculator and click on run okay so we seem like you know there's something wrong with this so let's close that and let's try recording one more time and all I would do is remove this script and just see because Having a trouble in learning is equally important because then you don't know what the problems are. So it, uh, as per me, the situation what we are facing right now is with respect to the uh, object capturing. So sometimes it happens like as you move it between the flash applications, the color changes slightly late. So if you're too fast, then it will capture only the partial image. So sometimes we need to be a little careful. Let's try a bit slower this time. So it's nine multiplied by 6 is equal to then 23 plus 89 is equal to stop recording reset the application and hopefully this should work now Let's try again. All right, that's fantastic. So what, what, what did I mean to say here is, uh, because when you talk about flash applications, they are not just ordinary like desktop. So if you see here, as I move between eight to nine, the color slightly fades away in a slow mode. It doesn't immediately moves into that. So sometimes it captures this button partially with this button so you need to be quite careful when you work with these kind of things and it is really important to take care of these kind of operations when you're working with flash based applications so anyways this is what what we have got as of now for the uh, flash based application before we move into anything else uh, we will be looking further in different options and we will be having all together a different agenda to look forward in the upcoming tutorial. So in case you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel, which will help you to understand the UFT in more detail and keep following the tutorials to learn the entire details. We'll be having a lot more things coming up one after the other. So stay tuned. Do like the video in case you really appreciate it and share it among your friends so that they can also learn it in easy steps. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep practicing. Happy learning, team. Take care.